You know what's released a new version of Dragon, Dragon Medical One, or DMO for short. DMO replaces all other forms of Dragon Medical, which become unsupported in 2022. If Dragon Medical Practice Edition was a camper van containing pretty much everything you need to get the job done, but slow and difficult to maneuver at times, then DMO would be a motorbike. It's nimble and fast, but less tools on board to get the job done. DMO is ridiculously fast in comparison to its predecessors, and thanks to the latest Nuance AI technologies, it's incredibly accurate. No profile training is required. Microphone calibration and accent adjustments happen automatically. It's quick and easy to install, so that means you can potentially be up and running in as little as five minutes. DMO is natively Windows friendly, so sorry for you Mac users, but you will need to download some additional software in order for it to work. Here's what is lacking. It doesn't have standby or a go to sleep mode. Because it's now cloud-based, I imagine that the network traffic required for it to be always listening. It's a massive overhead for Nuance, so they decided to scrap it. So Dragon is either on or off, and which means that you have to physically do something in order to turn it back on again. So whether that's a click button, a, a push button on your keyboard, or a foot switch, something like that, you need to physically turn it back on. It doesn't contain the nice correction menus we're used to with DMPE. It does contain some, but they're limited. It can't do any of the advanced scripting per se, but we can get around this by using uh, third-party applications. It can't import previous profiles. So each command, each profile needs to be rebuilt. That said, it's a heck of a lot quicker to uh, build up a, a profile from scratch in DMO than it was in the predecessors. The dictation box, oh, the dictation box, uh, used for unsupported applications. It doesn't support rich text formatting and I'll show you what that means. So I'm going to share my screen in its entirety. I'll get rid of me. Now this is a dummy patient, so not a real patient. I'm going to turn my dragon on. Dragon breast. Show dictation box. And you'll notice that the dictation box is here. It's, it's transferred all the text, but it's lost all that nice formatting. So then if I go transfer the text, show dictation box, transfer, all that nice formatting is gone. What we've done here to get around that is to create our own text editor. And I'm going to run that now. So it should be running. I'm going to get all of this. We'll start from scratch. Dragon breast. Edit that. Okay, so here is my rich text editor. I don't know if you noticed there, but there was a little padlock uh, on the green icon of this start stop recording. Now that showed me that the dictation was anchored to this dictation box. So that means that if I am dictating into this box and then I shift my focus with a mouse click into a, a digital image, for example, and I'm scrolling around digital image and I'm still dictating about that, um, the dictation is still fixed and will still be transferred to this dictation box because it's anchored. So anyway, the font, uh, the formatting is all, all nicely there. Um, I've got a transfer button here. It's uh, because Dragon uses transfer text as a command, I can't use that. So I've gone with transfer. Um, here we've got their patient's details here. Obviously this is a, a dummy patient. So a test patient, so it's not a real patient. Um, we've got our identification number there. This button here saves it. So for example, if you're in the middle of a massive dictation for like example, a, a, a breast case, and you're halfway through, you wanna take a break, you can then save it. Click that save button. And then heaven forbid, you lose your dictation. You can then recover it. 
I click on that button, click on the RTE and it's restored. Um, and so, yeah, that's a little helpful tool for you. There's a settings cog here. So each of your clinicians will no doubt have different screen sizes, different screen orientations. You may need to adjust the width and size and positioning of the rich stack status. You can do that in here by adjusting the X, Y, W and H values. So there's my dictation box again. You can navigate around here like you would normally do. Next field, next field, four, next field, three, next field, seven, next field, five, next field, six, next field, eight by four, accept defaults. Transfer text. Transfer. And there's my transfer text. Obviously the transfer text I showed you there, it didn't work, but I went and used the transfer button and it was all fine and dandy. Uh, 